Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program which will monitor the stocks of a specific company. Let's say that you want to monitor the stocks of Amazon. Let's say that you want to buy the stocks when they reach at let's say 2700 US dollar because this is your limit and you want to sell them when they are below 1500 and you want to sell them when they are above 5000 US dollar to make the most profit or the least loss. Okay, so we'll create the program for this purpose. It will constantly tell you what is the price of the stocks as well as it will notify you when they reach below or above or at a specific condition. So first of all, let's see that what is the system requirement or what are the packages that we need to install. So you need to install only one package, which is Yahoo Fin. Okay, so just go to the command prompt and write pip install Yahoo underscore Fin. Press enter and this package will be installed for you. Now for me, this package is already installed. So for all those who haven't installed the requests library, you have to install that also. Write pip install requests, uh, yeah, request and press enter. And also you have to install pip install requests HTML so that you can write this program successfully. Okay, so with this being said, let's get to our editor and start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So our first task is to import the required library, which is Yahoo Fin. Actually, we need to import the stock info module of this Yahoo Fin library because there are so many modules in this Yahoo Fin. We need only the stock info for the current stock information. There are many things that you can do with this Yahoo Fin. You can search for the historic data of any company stocks on which you can apply machine learning algorithm and do something more. But in this video, we are going to focus on our notifier program only. Now let's take the input from the user into a variable uh, branch and we'll ask the user for the company enter the company uh, for which they want to know the stocks of then we'll create a price variable in which the price of the stock will be stored and let's print our price variable so that we can see whether it's writing the correct value or not so we are printing the price value here and let's print this company uh, it's Amazon you have to write the notation for that company I don't know why the terminal in this is not working so let me open this from the PowerShell here so shift plus mouse right click will open the PowerShell and then just write python1.py I guess this is what the name of my file is yeah let's run this company name is Amazon now if you want to know that what is the short notation of all the company, I'll provide the link to this website. You can write the company name here. Let's write Microsoft. Yeah, I have searched for that. Okay. And then search for it. And it will return the symbol of that company, which is MSFT for Microsoft. Okay. So same is for Amazon. It is amzn let's print this and we are getting an error has no okay so it's live update it should be live update here it's live price let's run this again amazon and there you can see that this is the price of the current amazon stock so let us uh, search google for the price so stock stock price of Amazon so yeah 
two six nine two and here also two six nine two so the value is perfect now let's do all this in an infinite loop so that we can get the infinite value for these stocks so that we can create a notifier okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, write all this inside an infinite loop so while true and let me indent them okay so now we got the price now if the price is is less than let's say uh, what is the current price of this stock it is 2600 so let's say 2700 so if it is just a second if it is less than 2700 then we want to buy it so we will write invest 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 okay and lf uh, the price is greater than 5000 US dollars then we just want to write this profit 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 okay and elif the price is less than 1500 which is very low for amazon we'll uh, print sell 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 okay so now this is the blueprint of the notifier program when we'll run this program if the price is greater than 2700 then we'll buy it actually it should be less than 2700 i guess yeah it should be less than 2700 then we'll buy it if actually we need to place this if condition above so we'll place this if condition above and we'll make this one elif and we'll remove this one so uh, if you have already bought the stock and it is less than 1500 then you want to sell it because you don't want to make a huge loss okay if it is below 2700 and you haven't bought it then we'll invest 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 or we'll buy the stocks and if they are greater than 5000 then obviously we want to sell the stocks so that we can make the maximum profit okay now i have a video on how to create the windows notifier like this small notification which appears here so you can watch that video and apply the concept here and create notify yourself now the basics i have told you how to get the stock price how to compare them how to run them in an infinite loop the notification part is also well explained in that video i'll provide the link in the i button as well as in the description you can watch from there okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye